Still in Israel, after Israeli police chief found grounds to open a police examination into Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's conduct, Attorney General Yuda Weinstein is set to decide whether to launch a criminal investigation into the various affairs regarding the spending at the Premier's official residence. The News Today's diplomatic correspondent, Eli Ochenberg, with the latest on the decision that could turn the election upside down. It's impossible to count the amount of scandals in the current Israeli election campaign, but however many there are, there is a chance they will all be overshadowed if the Israeli Attorney General Yudha Weinstein decides to launch a criminal investigation against none other than Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. From the point of view of the police, the terms of investigation or examination are identical because usually many investigations begin as an examination. As it seems, an examination is needed, but the state attorney will have to decide that. If a probe goes forward, the potential investigation would focus on testimonies and evidence suggesting the prime minister and his wife Sarah, or people on their behalf, used state funds to pay for private domestic help in their official residence in Jerusalem. According to information relayed by the state comptroller's office, Israeli police received evidence on these and other issues indicating the need of a criminal probe from Manny Naftali, the resentful former manager of the prime minister's residence. The comptroller also received additional testimony collected in the past two weeks. In such a case, Ezra Seidoff, the deputy director of the prime minister's office, will be one of the main people who may be called in for questioning, and the Netanyahu couple themselves could even also face questioning. The most troublesome issue in the comptroller's report is the employment of a private electrician and former Likud party central committee member hired to perform electrical work at Netanyahu's home in Caesarea in defiance of regulations and despite the fact that he is reportedly close to the Netanyahu. Additional affairs being examined are the bottle deposit refunds and the purchasing of garden furniture transferred from the Prime Minister's Jerusalem residence to the private home in Caesarea. Politicians, parties, voters and analysts have been spending extra hours in recent months to speculate on the results of the elections, but if the Attorney General will give his green light, the story of these elections will change completely.